Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? I hope you guys are doing really well. Hopefully, y'all have had a great weekend. I'm going to get you a reading really quick. The decks that I'm pulling for you are super interesting, so I don't even know where this is about to go. I always follow my intuition on that. Please remember this is going to be a general collective reading as always for the sun of Sagittarius. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. You have a very, very interesting reading around you or energy, I should say, around you. Let's see what the reading says. I don't know if someone is passing or... You know what I just noticed? I couldn't, I didn't, I kept thinking, is there a noise going on? There was a noise, right? That was within my computer. I wonder, maybe it was trying to cool down. <laughs> maybe somebody needs to cool down. There's something that's happening here. And I, I don't know why I felt like a deep, deep loss for some reason. And maybe this is metaphorical, but I felt like it's something else, almost like a passing. Now, this doesn't have to be you, obviously, or something that's happening with you. It could obviously be someone around you. If so, maybe you are picking up on someone's emotions. Maybe you have noticed yourself even feeling some sense of loss or something. This is very heavy, so this may be very specific. It definitely feels like loss to me. In a big way. I feel almost like I'm bereaved in some way. So that could be an animal. That could be a situation. I guess it could be a job as well. And I'm taken to... I would pay, if you guys remember your dreams, kind of pay attention to your dreams too, because I don't know why I feel almost like someone is trying to get to you in your dreams or make up with you in your dreams or I don't even know why I'm getting this. It sounds so crazy, but I'm getting almost like, and these are women, by the way, for some reason, I'm getting women trying to smooth things over in a sense in your dream so I don't know why that would be unless someone is using some kind of means energetic or otherwise to yeah maybe they are trying to well maybe that's what they're doing trying to smooth things over in your dreams in some way because maybe you're not open to it interesting now that I'm getting into it let's see Okay, so I definitely have two women that are around you. I don't know who they are here. But you know what? I just saw one come back. It, so this could be happening. Pay attention to your dreams is what I would say. Because I feel like it's almost like I'm trying to get you to see my side of things. Or I'm trying to get you... It may not even be my side. They want you to think the way that they're thinking in some way. They want you to be on the same page. This could be somebody who actually hurt you or harmed you in some way. I don't know why I feel like someone could be eliciting help as well. I don't like this, honestly, because this feels a bit energetic to me. Like someone's trying to almost to get you, you know what it reminds me of, like a honey jar or something, are you guys familiar with that, where someone's trying to sweeten somebody else uh, towards them in some way, that's what it kind of feels like, but this has something to do with turning something in someone's favor, and for some reason, I feel like it's not yours. Now, this could be a situation where it turns out in everybody's favor, because people are getting along, but it's almost like I need you to to soften up to me. I don't know why I keep feeling like this is someone who could have duped you or tried to dupe you or do you wrong in some way. I hate to start readings this way, but this is what's coming out. Maybe there is a need here. Maybe they want you to have compassion for, for them, for their situation. They want you to see things a bit differently because they feel like you're really guarded. So maybe you feel like you're really guarding it, guarded or maybe guarding your heart at this time due to something that could have happened. I don't, all right, take it as it resonates because I don't know, this, this could be a bit dubious is what I feel. 
almost like especially if they tried a different way to create some kind of destruction now it's like creating something well now i need you to to maybe endear feel like i'm endearing or endear yourself to me in some way it's really kind of a, a nefarious energy maybe because whatever else happened didn't work or maybe they know that you know that and that's why you've created some kind of boundaries some kind of block now this makes so much sense why i actually pulled these cards i think let's go into true emotional i'm gonna see if i can see actually no let me pull <clears throat> this was another deck that i pulled out i pulled out four decks for you today so let's see i'm gonna start with this one See if I can get some information on what this is about. Blind, look at that. Interesting, because I feel like somebody is trying to come in a different way. This is about something that, hmm, did I say they feel like you either caught them in something, stubbornness. So is this you? <laughs> is this you that's not willing to hear somebody out, not willing to really see someone here. Which is, what's interesting to me is someone, feel, I feel like someone really feels like this could have been somebody that tried you. I'm just going to let you know or did something to you because why are they trying to come in a different way and almost like endear themselves in some way, but they're doing it almost on this subliminal level. So this is could be somebody that is very um well, i don't know if they're very familiar with the occult but let's just say i can see that they would actually go okay that way in some way maybe even hiring someone else perhaps i don't know why i'm going there but that's what i'm getting to try to get through to you because they feel like they can't look at this yeah this is somebody that wants to come back into your life. That's why. So that's what this readiness is about. This is what this preparation is about as well. But they feel like you're not having it. You're like, I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from you. Like you're being very stubborn to the situation. See, I'm telling you, they're trying to endear. This is kind of crazy. Okay. Someone is trying to endear themselves to you because they want you to hear them out in some way. So they could be trying to come back into your life in some way. I was getting two women in the vision just now, but it could be whomever. They could become bearing some kind of gifts as well. Wanting to give you something. Maybe they've tried to talk to you or maybe they've been blocked out of your life and they feel like you're just not having it. Look at this. Yeah, look imagination mind okay i'm telling you <laughs> these visions come through so clear this is what's happening in somebody's case and maybe you're getting this or maybe you're feeling this and all of that loss i was feeling before that could be you just saying this is dead and gone and somebody else feeling that okay so that was coming up in my energy quite strongly here Somebody's having to get pretty creative, imaginative here to try and soften you up, it looks like. It looks to me like, yep, for this, the apology, okay? Because they know they have to apologize to you and they know that you're not trying to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Somebody here, what's up? Okay, give me a minute. Um... They know you're trying, they know that you're not trying to hear this is what it looks like. Did you see him just walk by? <laughs> he just hit the thing. Stop. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. So they're trying to soften you up for this. This is somebody that could feel guilty about something that's been done here. This is someone who is looking for forgiveness. I can tell you there's a ton of loss around this situation it makes so much sense here why they want you to maybe look upon whatever they have to say here with compassionate eyes um i feel like they're trying to I, listen i saw two women in that it could very well be two women but it just feels to me like it's not quite on the level i would you know normally if you're very connected with someone it'd be easy to say okay someone's trying to you know, speak to you energetically or subliminally or something like that, which could definitely be happening. But 
I almost feel like there's more that's going on because they feel like they need more to turn this a bit in their favor. It's interesting that my cat is over here making all this noise as well, you know, so maybe they feel like whatever they're trying, you're not hearing. Okay, I'm making all this noise, but you're not really hearing what I'm saying or you're not paying attention to me. Maybe they've tried to get, I do feel like maybe they've tried to get your attention. Look at that. Spiritual. Okay, this is somebody that could be going, well, this could either some, be somebody who is going through some kind of a spiritual awakening or just a massive ego death in their life. Actually, both. Okay obviously i felt so much loss in that so maybe this person has brought chaos into your life maybe that's why they feel that you're not willing to listen to them or their side of the story they want to tell you i feel like something else that was happening or that was involved in this situation maybe before perhaps this is a friendship Okay, it could also be a family situation as well. This person could have definitely been in a bad place. Uh, not even so long ago, I feel like a downward spiral was helping or was happening with them. Look, yes, it has really opened their eyes now. So I feel like you got somebody here that is looking to you. This is definitely somebody who you've dealt with, okay, because I see that they are having a lot of memories, maybe regarding you. Yeah, look at that. Regarding you, regarding what happened in a specific situation, I feel like, and, and I do feel like this was a karmic lesson, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what your connection is. Karmic lessons come, you know, through any connection. And I feel like there was a lot to be learned in this situation. You just don't want anything to do with that, which makes me think either you've grown beyond it or maybe you're at that stage where you're like, I'm not even dealing with this. I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to begin to heal, right? Somebody is definitely getting ready to come towards you. That's something that you need to know. Maybe this is something this eclipse energy is actually bringing in in some way. Wow. Look at this, Sag. This person, hmm, this was flipping around trying to come out. I'm going to put it right here for a moment because it may mean something. This could be somebody that went to jail or somebody who had some legal problems that they didn't want to tell you about. This could also be a cop here with the police station. Something was definitely going on around someone's life that they were not telling you about or sharing with you in some way is what I feel. This is a person that's been going through some kind of faith or trying to have some kind of faith here. They've been praying a lot. Trying to get maybe their life together because it's been, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Trying to get some kind of other chance. Whatever happened here, I feel like somebody definitely went down a bad road here. And I think you weren't having it. So I don't know if somebody here actually chose wrong. This is a person with massive regrets. And look at this. It's actually following on the guilt in the apology card as well. This is a person that was living a very toxic lifestyle. I don't know if they tried to bring that into your life. Or maybe this is something that actually created a division between you guys. This is interesting because I see karmic lesson as well. So I think you met somebody here. You've had somebody in your life that had a lot of growing to do. That's what I feel. This person could have definitely ran into some, got busted or had some kind of legal issues as well with police station. Yeah, I feel like this person's been praying for a way to get back into your life, trying to get back into your energy. I feel like you are, <laughs> you act like I can't hear you. I can't see you. You know, and maybe you can't, maybe you actually have a block in place where you're not trying to do that. And that is why that vision was coming up so much. So trying to be a little more, although it's a bit sinister, okay, I feel like they're trying to be creative, imaginative to get to you, to get to your mind, to soften you up, to be able to actually give you this, this apology or this conversation. Let me see what this is about, honestly, because I don't know where this is going today.
Spirit, tell me more about this situation for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that has been on some kind of downward spiral. Honestly, they could have had legal issues as well. That could have also been what's taken them into the kind of this ego death. I feel like this is a person that could have been afraid too of the spiritual for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting that. I see this person's of two minds really. Okay. So it makes me think that maybe they were kind of afraid, but the truth is, I think that they're leaning more towards this. So this tells me that you could be a spiritual person, definitely a person of faith here. And I feel like they've been exposed to so much. It's almost like they're looking for a different way. Maybe that is where the memories are actually coming from here. Because maybe you showed that to them in some way. Yeah, there's the student right there. So you have someone here who is ready to learn. Wow. Ready to learn from the wise counselor. All right, Sag. You have someone here. That knows who you are, that knows how strong your faith is, apparently that knows that you're some kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you are. Maybe you are a counselor, okay? Maybe you're a clergyman. Maybe you are a priest. Maybe you're a spiritual teacher in some way. Whatever it is, they feel like they can learn from you. Look at this. This is all about speed activity here. This is a person that is, they're, so they're younger than you. So this is a child. Maybe or someone that you know that is actually younger than you that has been kind of in a in a nasty cycle, it looks like, that could have led to some kind of, I don't know if it led to arrest or incarceration of some kind. This is a person that's looking for some kind of change in their life here, and they know that you have some kind of stability in your own life here and that you used to be at least a very generous person, okay? They see you as somebody that's very successful as well. They see you as someone who has, I feel like you've changed your life in some way. So maybe they have watched you kind of change your life and they've watched things begin to move in the right direction for you. I know that they are trying to move things in a different direction with you as well. This is a person that could want to work with you or learn from you in some way. Learn the tricks of the trade is what I'm feeling here. They definitely want to collaborate. Yeah, and you're going to hear from them pretty soon is what I feel. I mean, we have eight of fire here. That is very fast, rapid communication and movement. I don't know why I'm feeling like this person could actually, um, I feel like I'm being descended upon in some way. Maybe they're coming to you in some way. They can't, if they can, okay, I don't know how far away you are. We look at Sagittarius energy when it comes to this individual spirit. Show me Sagittarius. Okay, this could be family, all right? I see 10 of water here. So this could be somebody who is family that is actually reaching out to you in some way, Sag, okay? They see whatever you're doing, you've been able to be very successful at it. Meanwhile, they've been kind of in this downward spiral. Maybe you tried to tell them this because I see so many massive regrets here as well as um, an apology that is trying to come in as well. If this person's not family, Ten of Water, you could definitely view them as family. Maybe they could be as close as family as well or somebody that you had a lot of love and affection for at some time. I see you overanalyzing this. This is definitely going to put you in your head, to be honest with you. Wow. Wow. Look at this. You have the Hierophant and the High Priestess coming out together in your line here. So I know that you're extremely wise, okay? And I know that you're also patient here and highly intuitive. The thing about it is, is I feel like you're going to find yourself overanalyzing. It's almost like, okay, I have to go back with them now because I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready for something like this. Okay, the high priestess can sometimes come across as a bit cold and, and you know, taken away, which is probably why they feel like you're blind to them or you're not willing to hear them out in some way. Or maybe you've just shown them that. The thing is, you are going with that and you're getting your information here from the universe, okay? You're trying not to maybe listen to all of the noise here of the outer world, especially when it comes to a situation like this. There's something here, too, about maybe overanalyzing and not necessarily believing that someone is 
regretful or ready to change their ways okay so i don't want to just let you back in my life because you're because you're on hard times you know if you are obviously changing somebody could be trying to parole um out to someone's house as well hmm okay somebody might need a place to stay as well or maybe they're trying to parole i feel like out to someone's house or interesting okay queen of fire there's your energy right there nine of water so you could be dealing with another sagittarius or another fire sign for sure i have sag leo um aries here as well i have a ton of water Sag, honestly, I see that you have a lot of emotions for this person. This could actually be romantic as well. You know that somebody here brought you a lot of happiness before. And maybe whatever they're bringing to you also makes you happy is what I'm feeling. Because I see her blowing on this, which tells me this is like a wish come true or wishing upon a star, wanting something to come around or to come back around or maybe just wanting an explanation i get this i kind of want an explanation about this or maybe it's not even something here's the thing i almost feel like it's you just kind of put it up to the universe right and it's like i don't know if you've been just going on about your life building yourself doing what you need to do this is a very fiery energy very determined energy okay um a leadership energy as well i almost feel like you have been focusing on yourself and maybe your own creations and creative endeavors you're looking very good obviously as well but i don't think that's the only pull here if i'm being honest i think you do have emotions for somebody here and at one point i feel like it could have been very romantic but i also think it got very dramatic something got really dramatic in this situation The thing is, I see you holding on so tightly. Look at this, to your stability. And even so, to your emotions is what I'm feeling. So although I see all of these emotions that are going on underneath the surface, and maybe even arising again, I don't know how long this has been, okay? This could be just happening. You know that somebody's in a toxic lifestyle, that sort of thing. But I feel like this has happened, and someone is really trying to seek some kind of not only forgiveness, but it's like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to listen to you. If this is not romantic, you're very emotional over whoever this is. Yeah, I mean, I guess this could be a child, you know, or somebody who you feel like that about because I definitely, maybe a brother, something like that, because I feel like you're feeling very emotional over a situation here. The strange thing is something in you has changed as well. So I almost feel like I can't give too much to this, right? I want to be supportive and the nine of earth is definitely very supportive, but I don't know how much of this I can actually give to, to whatever this is because I've been, it's almost like I've been proven wrong before. It's like, you know. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. I don't think you want to be made a fool of because you really are standing very strong here in your power now. So maybe you know something as well or feel like you know something here in this high priestess energy about this person. But it's almost like it's so close. To, I almost said to home. Interesting. So maybe this person is close to your home as well. Or it could just be, again, in a family situation. It's so close to home. It's like... Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a little side story here. This person caused you, so they brought damage into your life in some way. I don't know if that was emotional or actual. I, I almost want to say for some of you, monetary damage. They could have cost you money. For some of you guys, this is definitely going to be a court situation is what I feel here. Like someone was getting in some kind of trouble or something. I had to cut... Yeah, I had to cut the, the, the apron string, so to speak. That makes me feel like you're their mom or something. But I guess it could be anybody. It's like I had to cut the cord with this person because of this that they were doing. So not only am I going through a lot emotionally with them, I could have obviously been suffering as well financially due to it as well. 
whether that be they took money or they needed money all the time for stuff. Yeah, there's definitely, okay, I definitely feel a, yeah, a very thick tie to the emotional aspects of it. Something they were doing and would not stop doing and would not listening, would not listen to you about. But it's odd. It's like they know now. I feel like they do know. <clears throat> this person is equating this to some kind of karmic lesson that they had to learn. Incidentally, you might be chalking them up to a karmic lesson as well. Hmm. Okay. Spirit, what else for Sagittarius? I think you're about to be faced with something, Sag. Made of water. Wow. Look at that. I think you're about to be faced with something here. You have someone here that is searching. Searching for answers. Searching for... I feel like they're trying to be fulfilled in some way. This could be a queen of air energy as well. Or they could be looking at you in this energy. They feel like somebody here has the experience. They also feel like this person is suffering no fools. Okay. They're trying to walk away from something in their life. That they feel is no longer working for them. They feel like you have a brilliant mind in some way. And there's something here. Definitely about your wisdom and your intuition. I think they're they're privy to it. Which tells me they're close in proximity in some way. Or maybe it's just had to do with your past conversations. Okay. They're definitely looking at you as much more experienced than they are as well. And you're also someone who has been through quite a bit. And they feel like that is what is actually built. I feel like your wisdom. Okay. This person could be keeping up with you or watching you. Maybe they just know that you've accomplished a lot in your life as well with the world card. Maybe that's how you know each other from the World Wide Web. This could also be showing me that you guys are at a distance from one another. Yeah, this look. King of Air, Queen of Air. Mm. So, what I have here, Sag, is somebody who is holding a lot of emotion. Look at that. King of Water as well. A lot of emotion here about a situation, about fixing a situation, whatever the situation may be. This is a person that is looking to begin again, acknowledging that this toxic lifestyle that was in their life before was actually the culprit of what I feel like took them down a bit of a dark path. I don't know if you've actually witnessed that because, I mean, I see the wise counselor here and I see the high priestess. Now, the wise counselor, of course, is a hierophant. So if you're a very religious person or if you have a lot of religious beliefs as well, I don't know what was happening here, but maybe they felt like that really went against you or maybe they were in this energy as well. They could have been judging you, especially in this high priestess energy. I'm going to tell you this, and I don't know if you know this, there's something here about your intuition too that this person was afraid of. It almost makes me, it almost makes me feel like you were calling them out or could have been calling them out or stuff like you knew too much. You could be dealing with an air sign here, Gemini, um, a Libra or an Aquarius. This is somebody here that wants to set the record straight. They've experienced a whole lot of loss, it looks like, in their in their life. Potentially a loss of freedom. Maybe a loss of a job as well. But their actions, I feel like, got very reckless in some way, shape, or form here. And they see that if you were ever in this energy, they can see that you've turned it around. But I don't know if you were, to be honest with you. Maybe to some degree, but I'm telling you, your cards are so good over here. And I'm also going to tell you, you had a lot of love and maybe a lot of hope for this person, at least at one particular time. Sadly, I see you kind of holding back a little bit now with that in mind. So it's almost like I'm glad this is coming to be. I'm glad I'm being talked to. I'm glad that this person is getting on the right course. However, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to hold back. I can't throw everything into this. Maybe again. I almost said again. I think somebody's going to show up 
or come in in a big way. This is a person that may also not be laying all their cards on the table in terms of the communication. And I say that because I feel like it's just going to be very direct. It's almost like a meeting of the minds in some way here. But they have been studying you is what I feel. This is a person that could have been watching you. They could have been studying you. They could be looking back over memories, which could very well include some kind of correspondence between the two of you as well. Emails, text messaging whatever however you guys communicated pictures okay i definitely feel like they could be looking at pictures this is the person underneath it all they're, they're coming in and this very strong persona knowing that, that they just gotta you know i gotta stand on business right now i gotta get down to business this is the person that's holding a lot of emotion a lot of love here I think this person wants you to know that they can be trusted. See, I feel like you can't trust them. And I think you're not even trying to see or hear them because you feel that way. And that's what I was feeling down here. It's like, mm -mm, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Like, I can't let that happen again. Look how much I've done to really rebuild myself and get myself back up um, to this very confident person that I was, you know? So I don't know if this person took you down a dark path or maybe knocked you down a minute. But remember, that was the lesson. Okay. Did you grow from it? Did you get back up? Did you keep fighting? Did you, you know, did you get yourself back together? Well, obviously you did because the cards don't lie, right? So it's almost like I feel like there's too much power. You know, maybe they, maybe you felt like they had a little bit too much power at one particular time. Maybe they knew that as well. And that was actually something that was abused here. Wow. I just turned over and I have the lovers here on the bottom. <sighs> okay. So this could have definitely been some kind of relationship. Or maybe it wasn't even a full blown relationship, but it's something that someone wanted. It's someone that you had a lot of hope for at one particular time. I think that gave them potentially too much power here that clearly they abused. They couldn't appreciate you anyway. Where you were standing versus where they were standing is what I'm feeling here. You could have definitely chalked this up to a karmic lesson and I feel as though it was a karmic lesson, but this person is, is desperate. And all of that loss I was feeling coming into the reading could definitely be their loss too. And maybe this toxic lifestyle also brought a massive loss into their life as well. This is so crazy because I keep going to the police station. Like you could, that could be where the call comes from. Cause I see communication, you know, a call coming in, you know, this is uh, the department of corrections <laughs> with so-and-so on the line. Will you take the call? You know, those calls, right? Yeah. This person is really, really freaked out. They're worried. I feel like they're stressed out. They're negative. They feel like you're doing great. Obviously, without them, they may be seeing you. They may be seeing you get a lot of attention. They may just be seeing you honestly stand in your power in some way. Okay. I don't think they know that you have these emotions. And honestly, you may have actually subdued these emotions too for a long time. Because I see you really focused on yourself, your high priestess energy, and really connecting with the divine as well. I told you high priestess can come across sometimes as a bit cold. So I think you've kind of went numb or at least turned away from that energy. Okay. And again, you're focusing on you and where you need to be going at this particular time. And so they are definitely stressed about this interaction. Just notice too that that fell next to the Nine of Earth card here. So they're also stressed now that you're going to hold back, that you're not going to want to. They're not going to be able to have the same relationship or the care. So you could have provided a lot of care for this person as well. We see someone here out in their garden really nurturing. It's beautiful, beautiful all around it. They feel like you're not going to give that to them. So I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to spend any time in this garden anymore. I'm not going to continue planting in this garden because I don't trust it. Or that's what they're feeling. This is their worry, by the way. This is their anxiousness and where it's leading them. And definitely to some kind of sleepless nights, potentially. So this person is very unsure about you. That's what you need to know. 
okay because they feel like you've done they i feel like they've tried to communicate or done something here to try to get your attention and now it's just like well it's not going to happen i'm just going to have to go in i'm just going to have to put my either my heart out there or put my ego to the side whatever and do what i need to do here i feel like they're praying for some kind of miracle Wow. Okay. All right. So let me see if I can get. You know, what I want to get on this person, to be honest with you. Let's see if we, we'll get some of these here and see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, any last words of advice here for Sagittarius, please? Last words of advice. So definitely somebody here trying to clean up something that was done here in the past, uh, familial, friendly, um, or a lover situation, romantic situation, I'm not sure. I just take it as it resonates, but this person has definitely been in a, a downward spiral that obviously is, is leading them to some kind of spiritual awakening here. New beginnings. But look at this. Directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. See? I was feeling so much emotion about this coming into the reading and, and about a death. And I feel like this is where you're at. Okay. And this is why, although this may make you happy, it may reignite some feelings, Sag, and you could go for it. Just take it as it resonates. Obviously, you always have free will. I see. Look at your face. I see you looking down. Look at everything that I've created here, everything that I've built, and I've did it very methodically. I've had to work hard on myself on my own garden here okay on my manifestations do i really want to to open myself back up to this with something that's already kind of proven maybe to not work out in the past i think you have doubts about this person i'm not going to lie flowers though be generous success and emotional fulfillment are your yours wow okay Maybe that's what the person's bringing you, some kind of flowers, or maybe just being able to, because we do see, I see the nine of water here and the nine of water. I feel like they're going to be coming with some kind of emotion or romantic feelings, or at the very least igniting those in you as well. I, I do feel you're going to feel good about this situation, but maybe it's enough to trigger you to kind of hold back, or maybe you're just holding back in self-preservation. I don't know. Yeah, that's why. Because you're the phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. I feel like this is both of y'all. i got to be honest with you. Or maybe you're at these last stages here where you've done so much work. You've been so insular here, trying to take care of yourself, trying to rebuild in some way from whatever this is. That this is just you. Be prepared to renew it after a period of crisis. It's like this feels good. It feels good to hear this. To know what I knew. You know what I'm saying? What I thought was correct to begin with. Or to have this kind of substantiated. However, this is me. I'm rebuilding. I'm new and improved as well. You know? I'm feeling good about myself. I don't know that I would want to invest. Okay? Look at all the beauty around me I've been able to build, right? I don't know that I want to go back into that and invest. Look at this. This card trying to come out. Be careful who you trust at this time, I'm telling you. And I feel like that's what's going to come up. So, oh my God, I've wanted this for so long. I thought this was going to come. You know, I just needed to hear these words, you know, maybe. But... I just, I don't know that I can invest. That's what I'm getting. I don't know that I can invest right now. You know, again, take it as it resonates. Obviously, you always have free will. Maybe you want to spend some time thinking about it or. But you know you are different. Okay, Phoenix rising from the ashes. Whatever happened here before, I think you just know and you understand that you're very different. And it took you a long time to get back to this place. Okay. And it's like going down. That's what I'm saying. You you have some trust issues around that. This also says be careful who you trust. But you have some trust issues around the situation because you've been there, done that. And maybe several times with this person. I don't know. But I do think somebody's going to try and offer you some kind of explanation or wants to talk to you about the regrets that they have and about the maybe the choices that they made. That's what I'm getting, Sag. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this helps you guys in some way. Let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.